ITR Boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Uh, your boy Brandon Adams is fighting uh, Sergei Boacek. I had Brandon I'm on. I think he's going to really hurt Sergei. Like, Sergei looks like he gets hit a lot for my liking. I think you're probably biased because you said Brandon's one of your best <laughs> friends in this. But I, I think Brandon's very disrespected in boxing. I think people don't really respect how talented he is. What do you look at for this fight, knowing Brandon as well as you do? I'm just excited for him because I feel like this could open, you know, not that he doesn't get it. Well, I would say, yeah, I would agree with you with that. But um, people know who he is. People seen him. You know, he got a, he got a world title shot at, with Charlo. You know, at 160, which isn't his ideal weight class, you know, we we're all making 160 on the contender on the same day notice. It wasn't, you know, it's not most of the fighters that were on there aren't really aren't real 160 pounders. They're 154 pounders. But, Went um, 12 rounds, too, with Charlo. Like, yeah, 12 rounds. And really, it was it was the size difference for me that kind of was the separation with that with that fight. And I think it was kind of um, easy to see if you were watching the fight that it was had a lot to do with the size difference, and it was just tough for him to overcome that. But um, you know he's a good dude, and um, you know, I'm, you know I love Brandon, and he's I feel like he's got he's got a lot of tools, especially at 154, to to do a lot of do a lot of things. I just think if you're a, if your style is physical and punching and wearing guys out, that's a bad style against Brandon if Brandon's as big as you. Because Brandon can box, Absolutely. he can bang, Absolutely. he hits hard. It just feels like this guy is going to be walking into a lot of shots, and the game plan for this guy is, well, eventually he's not going to be able to take them. And, like, I just don't like that game plan going into a fight. Yeah, I, I think uh... – yeah, like you said, I'm, I'm biased. So I think I think Brandon is a better fighter than this dude. I know this dude got he got like all his wins by knockout, right? This dude. All of his wins are by knockout, and he used to be trained by Abel Sanchez. Now he's trained by Manny Robles. I think he had like a hundred or 150 amateur fights. He's kind of like one of these um, touted killers. But you know, is he? Like his biggest wins, I believe he beat Tyron Brunson, who I think was yeah. on the contender show. Yeah, I watched I watched it. And I think the his next big win is Freddie Hernandez. But when he fought Freddie Hernandez, who was well past his prime, the stuff he's getting hit with, I was thinking, you can't get hit by an elite level fighter this clean. Like he was taking punches clean, not yeah. rolling. And it's like, you know better than I do. Can you take a clean punch that many times when you're fighting a an upper level guy, you know, I don't think so. Yeah, that's not, yeah, it's not the best style playing with them. Um, I don't think with Brandon either. Like, like you were saying, you know, Brandon, I got crazy kids. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the best style matchup. And um, for him, I think it's, hey, relax, relax. And I think Brandon's going to do, you know, very good work. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, I don't want to say coming out party because he he got a world title shot already, but it's gonna. I think it, it could uh, set up a future world title shot very soon with this with a big win. I view it like my man Oshaki Foster. Like he's got two losses and he won on. Ring he's City. fighting on the undercard. I don't I don't know him personally or anything, but. I see he's a very he's a very good fighter. He's so. a cool dude. He's a good fighter and all that. But I'm saying like he won a fight, and then it's like people are respecting him more. So yeah. they're like putting more respect on his name. I think Brandon. It's like a lot of people look at the John Thompson fight and Charlo, and they don't look at his win over Keytroff because maybe they didn't watch the contender. Yeah. Um. I think Brandon's Brandon um started boxing real late and um he's 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 still improving as a fighter and he's he's getting better and better and he's relaxed. I got crazy kids. Um sorry about that. <laughs> um 
yeah, I think uh, Brandon's getting better. Brandon's getting better, and he's he's a lot better than um than a lot of people think. Give him credit for, like you were saying, and he's he's gonna prove it. At March, it's what Thursday. This Thursday, Thursday, it's in Puerto Rico, Boricua, Boricua, yes. Torneño. <laughs> yeah, that's well, that's cool. He gets to go to Puerto Rico and get himself a big win. That's that's great. Yeah, it's just I think that he's one of those guys like my man Charles Conwell, where it's like nobody's really itching to fight Brandon or Conwell because it's like you're you're gonna be in. They're probably gonna inevitably have to fight each other, which is that's a total thing in my life where people I like fight each other but um they're basically the same kind of guy where it's like they're two, really two under the, yeah two under the radar fighters having to prove themselves against each other so one gets canceled out yeah instead of fighting yeah. all the guys they could they could they could test it's like okay no one wants to fight these guys let's just match them up the loser yeah. will say like everyone can say oh he lost to that guy we don't want to fight him yeah <laughs> Yeah, and the winner might get a shot. And the winner yeah. will, will be still under the radar, but like yeah. at least he'll have <laughs> like it, it's just he'll need another win, and then maybe he'll get something. Yeah, 